Moya, Essen I wanted to talk about speaking Luxembourgish because I think a lot of people have the idea that speaking Luxembourgish is really hard. And the thing is, it's really not that hard at all. As long as you keep a few things in mind. Okay, for instance, every English verb can be made Luxembourgish by adding what I call the, the bendy thing. It, it sounds like this. It sounds like a rayurin, rayurin. So, for instance, you take the word go. You say, I go home. I in Luxembourgish is esh. You say, esh go rayurin home. Simple, right? Esh go rayurin home. And that's true with any Luxembourgish uh, verbs. Eat, whatever, eat yeren. Drive, you know, I drive my car, es drive yeren. Swim, es swim, swim yeren. There, I'm speaking Luxembourgish, so easy. Now that's with verbs, just add the rayurin, the bendy thing. Now with uh, nouns, you add like this yonin. So for instance, the word information. Information in Luxembourgish is informationen, right? So, I go home would be esh go reyeren home yeonen. Esh go reyeren home yeonen. Uh, I ride my bike. Esh ride reyeren my bike yeonen. Esh ride reyeren my bike yeonen. I eat my dinner. Esh eat yeonen my dinner yeonen. Now, if you really want to sound like you're an advanced Luxembourgish speaker, you can add like all these like little nonsense words and you just kind of sort of sprinkle them in the sentence like iso and zesh and dobai and shon and emo. All these words just go just throw them in wherever you want. Let's say if you want to do a, an advanced version of I want to go home, it would be esh wantierin zesh iso home yonin mo shon apka go reyren. So that's really all you got to do. Pretty easy stuff. Oh yeah, and just make sure that you end every single conversation with Adi Chow, tip top. Adi Chow, tip top. In fact, you could probably just make that the whole conversation. Just Adi Chow, tip top. Adi Chow, tip top. Adi Chow, tip top. Adi Chow, tip top.